to answer the question, I think the title change we're talking about is I think Finn wins. And I think you sort of add in like, hey, look, this other title that is actually defended every week and every month, you never know what it's going to change hands. So I think Finn beating Rollins, you further the blood, the uh, Judgment Day storyline. And I think that's ultimately the big story coming out of it. They want to push the Judgment Day. So I, I'm with you. I, 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 I guess the odds in Vegas right now, like no champion is an underdog. Like all right now, all the money is on everybody retaining their current championships, but I'm with you. I mean, Seth has kind of hinted at how beat up he is. And yet he's still out there making every city wrestling every Monday night. Granted it was a tag team match this last week, but he's still out there wrestling every week. Him getting a little bit of a break would not be a bad thing for him and his body the way he's kind of talked about being beat up. Plus, I think it just makes things interesting if you have if you have a, the women's champion in Rhea Ripley, you have the North American champion, Senior Money in the Bank, and the WWE World Heavyweight Champion. Like that's that that makes the Judgment Day a little more interesting. It makes their uh, Judgment Day runs Monday Night Raw and WWE more interesting, and they want. Judgment Day to kind of be what the next bloodline is from all the reports that are out there. And I think the next way you you evolve that, like Seth Rollins, Seth Rollins doesn't need a championship. Like this championship was a reward for Seth Rollins because of everything he's done for WWE. He's he's over. And if he goes away for a little bit, the crowds are going to be just just as hot as they are right now for him whenever he returns, if indeed he's beat up. So I think the biggest story potentially is Finn Balor going over as the champion, unless they get something crazy like The Rock to show up because it's tribal combat and you get more Samoans involved with uh, with the bloodline angle. Well, I'll tell you one thing. If Finn Balor does not win the World Heavyweight Championship, he is dead. Yeah. Because, uh, because well, here's what will happen. Yeah. I can just already write it. So he loses against Seth Rollins, which, again, again. It could happen, but say, for instance, it does. So now the rest of the Judgment Day looks at Finn Balor like, you're the only loser out of us four. I mean, look at everything else that we've accomplished here. And what have you accomplished? They beat up on Finn. Finn becomes a baby face, and he just becomes just a guy. He doesn't become special. At this point in time, he's just a guy. I like the build. I think it's been a good build between him and Seth Rollins. But I think it's important, bro, it's for him to win the championship. If he doesn't, then what's next besides the right. – the, um, the, the guys take him out, right? The Judgment Day, remove him from the group. And then he's a baby face and kind of a loner. Then what? Well, yeah, I think that's the thing. Like, he has the face turn, and then, yeah, he's just sort of stuck in no man's land. The interesting part, though, is they've done a good job in the main roster of protecting him as the demon. This should be one of those situations where we see him as the demon, but does that work with him as a heel? No, and plus he's lost as the demon. Like, the demon's dead. Like, I don't ever want to see the demon uh, again. Yeah. Like, the, the demon was supposed to be special. Like, you you rip, whip, pulled out the demon when you absolutely needed it. He's lost as the demon. Like, it's the, the luster okay. is gone off of it. Plus, I don't think the demon really fits with the whole Judgment Day thing. Like, it just doesn't make a, a ton of sense to me. I, I, don't, I don't need to see the demon again. I don't know how you feel about it, Hood. Okay. So, the last time we saw a demon was Hell in the Cell, the injury... Was that the last time we I, saw him? I think you're right. But he's lost He's lost once or twice as the demon. Like, he lost – didn't he lose to Brock Lesnar as the demon? I believe so. Did he lose a so. seven once as the demon? I'm wondering about that, too. I don't recall. Um, but it just – it's a gimmick that you can pull out of me once in a while. I think they use it a little bit too often. I think that when his back is against the wall, it's good for him to use it. I wouldn't be surprised if he comes out with it. That wouldn't surprise me if he needs that to I think beat, just to add to the show a little bit. Maybe he needs that to beat Seth. Well, I mean, he needs right, yeah, that he way. needs something to beat Seth. Um, like at least I, I've I've appreciated that build up. The it's it's amazing how good the production teams for WWE are because the videos that they played on Monday night, like Cody Rhodes, Brock Lesnar's been fine. Yeah, Ronda right. Rousey versus Shayna Baszler. Like Ronda probably cut the best promo she ever cut for it when she was like up in that um you know up in the box or whatever talking yeah. down debate like that was fantastic yeah. so they took these little things and then they took the behind the scenes videos for ronda and shays and shana baszler they created two really good promo like <laughs> spectacular promo videos for those two matches i'm sure they'll play them um in, you know on peacock on, on saturday if you haven't seen them but my goodness like the like the build for those matches have been fine, but you would think by watching those those promo videos that they were spectacular, spectacular builds because the videos are that good. 
I like them pushing Logan Paul and Ricochet in our face on Raw and in the A block. I go, this? Oh, <laughs> oh, uh, yeah. So uh, I think that's just going to be a great spot fest. I think that's going to be good. I, I think the card is, you said stacked. I think it's fine. But I think that the thing that we all want to know is what this, um, this tribal chief combat match is it sounds like no disqualification yeah it's, it's i think like it's just no dq yeah i yeah, think it's right. no dq it sets <laughs> up for all the all of the bloodline shenanigans that happened throughout the course of a regular match they're all legal now yeah and so if it's just another match where okay now here comes jimmy uso and here comes Sola Sokoa and paul gets involved and it's like okay so what's different about that i would agree i agree with gabe if we don't get another samoan or if we don't get the rock to so show up, then it's just everything we've seen on SmackDown, pretty mm-hmm. much, isn't it? Yeah. What if you get Jimmy turning on Jay? Oh God. <laughs> That's possible. It's possible. But, but then but okay, we haven't talked about this part. Is Jay does Jay Uso engender to you guys like, oh my God, must see. Like Cody, like Seth, like LA Knight. I'm, I'm seriously, because we haven't talked about that part of it. Like, we love the storyline of, of the bloodline. We like the tentacles, everything about it. But Jay by himself, good promo, gets the fans behind him, but not strong like the uh, some of the other guys in WWE. I, just, I feel like this is tepid to me from Jay Uso's standpoint. Well, so I really got behind Jay the, when the, the moniker main event Jay Uso came out, when the bloodline started. You know, and Jimmy's hurt, and Jay is the one out there fighting before he joins Roman. Mm -hmm. Like, he was, and and that's where main event Jay Uso, and the dude delivered. Like, they had tremendous matches. The buildups were were great. And then he became a part of the bloodline, so then he just kind of, you know, he's he's in Roman Reigns' shadow. I don't think, I mean, it certainly is hit with audiences, because it's somebody against Roman. And we're all cheering against Roman not in the way we were all cheering against Roman when he was fighting Undertaker at WrestleMania, but like right. in a, you know, in like storyline, we're, we're rooting against Roman, but we all respect the work that he's put in as the tribal chief. But I, I don't feel like it, that connection goes any further than you're the guy right now that, and you're the only one who's pinned Roman in the last three plus years. So you're the guy that we're behind right now, but you're right. Like if he loses, which I'm assuming he will, like he just kind of, fades into the background i don't think he's made a connection beyond i'm just the guy fighting roman reigns and we're and we're we happen to be family 